Right, good morning. It's um, revision time. Exams are coming up soon. So this is a foundation paper uh, I'm going to go through and uh, I'm going to deliver a little bit of a shout out to my boy Adam, Supercars of the Nation. Told you I'd do it. <laughs> So without further ado, we're looking at the um, Combined Science Trilogy paper uh, for physics, and this is paper two. Uh, so let's just have a quick look. A couple of things to point out. You definitely need to bring a ruler, a calculator, uh, your own calculator, guys. Don't just wait for the school to get you one because you won't know how to use it. It'll be a bit different to the one you're used to. If you have your own calculator, you will do better. Right, question one. Figure 1 shows the forces acting on a car moving at a constant speed. So we've got a force pointing up, down, to the right, to the left, and they're labelled A, B, C, D. Which force would have to increase to make the car accelerate? Well, I'm assuming they mean accelerate forwards. So if you made this force bigger, then the overall force would be forward and it would accelerate forwards. So I'm going to go with D for that one. Okay, next question. The car travels a distance of um, 2,040 meters in two minutes. Use the following equation to calculate the mean speed of the car. Right, they're being a little bit sneaky here, in my opinion, because if you notice, they've given you the time in minutes, but then the units they're expecting you to use here are meters per second. Hmm, so what to do? Well, They've given us a good start. They've given us the equation. So we can just shove the numbers straight into that equation. So I'll replace or substitute the distance with 2040 um, and the time with 2. Uh, not quite. So it's 2 minutes. How many seconds are there in 2 minutes? Well, there's 1 minute, it's 60 seconds. So um, let's put this here 2 times 60 equals 120 seconds. Right, so I'll be dividing by 120 seconds, okay? Notice that I've shown all the little steps that I've used. Yes, I'm writing a bit bigger than the, uh, the exam paper, but on your paper, try and show all the steps so that you can guarantee you get all these marks. So I'm going to do um, 2040 divided by 120. 2040 divided by 120 gives me 17, and that would be 17 meters every second. 17 is my answer, okay? Right, next bit. 1.3, the car makes an emergency stop. Uh, figure 2 shows the thinking distance and the braking distance of the car. So if we're looking at thinking distance and braking distance. The thinking distance says is 12 meters and the braking distance is 24 meters. So what is the stopping distance? Okay, so stopping distance will be the sum of both all together, right? So it will be 12 meters plus 24 meters. So why, why, why do we even care about the difference between thinking distance, braking distance, and stopping distance? If you've got a really good car, then this distance, because your tires are good, your brakes are good, you've got ABS, you've got a super advanced car or something, you can make this distance shorter. If you're going slower, this distance will be shorter as well. If you are old, tired, drunk, on drugs, or something like that, this distance could get drastically larger, right? So um, you don't want to be um, trying to stop or respond to dangerous situations on the road if, um, if this overall stopping distance is too big either way. So it makes sense to try and make it smaller. Uh, overall and um, and things you can do to control that good tires on this side and the person driving it needs to be alert awake and healthy all the rest of it right so what we're going to do 12 plus 24 I can do that in my head 36 meters um part 1.4 the person driving the car is tired what effect will this have on the thinking distance and the braking distance what effect will it have on the thinking distance and the braking distance. So again, let's remind ourselves, thinking distance, right, that is affected by, like, 
being drunk, being tired, being distracted. Braking distance is basically the car, so e.g. good tyres, brakes, etc. Right? So if you're tired, does it make your car any worse? No, your car's still just as good as it was. So um, your thinking distance being, will be affected by being tired. Now, will it decrease or increase? Uh, well, if I'm tired, it takes longer to hit the brake, so it's going to take me longer to stop. Uh, it's going to take me longer to put my foot on the brake, and this distance will become bigger. Uh, the braking distance, I'm tired, but that doesn't change my car from being a bad car, from a good car to a bad car, so that will stay the same. Okay, I hope I got that right. Okay.